Uh, hello, my name is Andreas. I am designer and founder of Endorphins. What is your favorite knob, fader, or switch on a piece of gear, and why? You know, we just uh, we, we were using um, the uh, the Davis clones knobs before. It's like the Surge uh, uses, uh, so they are plastic ones. You know, with uh, like uh, narrowed ones. And all the time, I was feeling that like okay, we use them, but somehow it's like not feeling kind of unique. So, and we just we did a huge research, and we found our unique kind of like aluminium knobs. So it was a long thing. So I think like the ones on on the Ghost, on the big Black Noir, and the Queen, the big one, it's just uh, people love it because it's like okay, I just want to try it, and it's like a filter. It's it's pretty cool. What bit of the of the gear that you've made are you particularly proud of? I would say that I really proud of how it worked with the Andrew because he did he came up with a unique user interface so you can assign LFO and you show the status of each knob position so you can see oh you have you have a preset and you have like see the what's going on instantly with the LED and you, once you modulate it it's just also like uh, works it's like breathing you know in the context of the recent things we have like two pedals launched and I did all the 3D enclosure design so we did like a five or six different enclosures with the printing them in 3D printers. How do you see the gear that you guys make in the landscape of music? If some piece of gear is made, of course, it is intended to be used somewhere, you know? So the, the Ghost is kind of like a pedal, pedal board or like pedal effect processor or whatever. And the Golden Master is like a multi-band, okay? For example, Julia uses Golden Master on the, on the end chain of her um, seven UKs. And it's all it's always on the on the on its multi band and it's like compressing very heavy the lows. So you can pump the volume in the clubs dramatically, so you can uh, be very loud in the clubs. And usually people play modular in the clubs, so it's, it's, you, you face lots of problems with the dynamic. What music has inspired you to produce the gear that you make? I grew up on a in the 90s, in the late 90s, you know, and I grew up on the more har har harmonic and melodic stuff, you know, so and usually what was there, it was like, a, like I don't know, British electronic music, it was British uh, rock music in the end, you know, it was German electronic music, German dance music, I would say, it was, I think it was, of course, techno trance music of the late 90s. Uh, what is the most surprising tip or trick or technique that you've discovered about a piece of gear that you've made? In the end, like, you know, we intend, when you are a manufacturer, you are very, uh, speak also very subjectively, because you, you see it from one point, okay, that one is intended to be like, like that one, you know, even like with working with Andrew, but I was, was wanted to make some kind of a techno rumble generator, so you just put the bass drum into the ghost, and it has created some kind of a de de delay in, uh, and with reverb, with distorted things, so you with different routings so you can create kind of a low low end atmosphere for the techno music you add a kick and you have a kind of that wobbling uh, low, low rumble but um, in the end people say no it's an effect processor i put it on the master it was intentionally made to be like um in a way it can do what i personally wanted for julia and at the same time it became like a very abstract and universal piece of piece of like effect processing how is collaborating with andrew huang I think collaborating with him became, I mean, just like a, like a few inputs and you're like, okay, it doesn't uh, completely make sense. And rearranging, okay, and we, we just, and we back and forth and it, okay, that makes total sense, you know? I mean, in the end, it helps to, because if you are manufacturing, you are always subjective. To, okay, you see things in, a, in your bubble. But I think it's good when uh, Andrew is, is very talented multi-instrumentalist. He knows, he knows gear and... Uh, it's not that we are doing something super unique, but I think what we do is very important and would be very cool. How did you get into making music here? In the late 90s, I was listening to like kind of German techno, techno electronic music, trance or whatever. And I was, okay, I just want some synthesizer. I started some VST, but afterwards I got some Virus Nord, Rowan GP8000. And afterwards it was some, some of the units were broken, some of the boring. And then said, okay, I just want to have some parts. And some, uh, some friend told me, oh, there is a kind of, he started to make Usynth. Usynth is a French DIY guy. And he was doing the Arturia Maker Brut, all the development afterwards with Arturia. And I was started doing his, uh, his, um, his PCBs. So that's how I, I started. Yeah. How do you most often start a new piece of gear? Or where do the ideas come from? Me personally, I think I inspired from Julia because if she has the idea, I want to make her case pretty portable uh, because sometimes I help her with the uh, sound checks and I help to ho hold the, the case. It's, it's getting heavy, it's getting heavy and it's like, I, okay, I just want to unload some stuff. So if it works for her, I think it will work for, 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 for the rest. How do you know when a piece of gear is finished? 
I mean, with the digital, it's hard to know when it's finished because there are like updates and people love updates and some and some bugs. Uh, every everyone has bugs, you know. Is like every manufacturer has bugs. But when it's ready, I think when it's ready, when there are no new ideas for the improvements, it's fine. What is the best creative or production advice that you've ever heard? If your production of your instrument requires lots of handmade or DIY, I think that would be hard to to manufacture in the, in the end. So I mean, simplify as much as possible production. I would say.